What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to Fox's Den. Get into another reaction. One more finale for this weekend. Solo leveling. Episode 12, season one. Oh man, it's kind of bittersweet this is coming to a close because this anime had such a strong start. Everybody's been enjoying it. It's lived up to the expectations of the readers of Manwa. I mean, it's blown everybody else's expectations away in terms of if you have read it or not. Like, I'm not a reader myself, and, you know, getting into this, I was hoping that it was going to up, live up to the expectations of people that know the story and read it. And uh, thus far, you know, up until now, this whole season has been a blast, and it's been so much fun to watch. So many good moments, so many good fucking moments for myself in, in reacting to this. I mean, episode six was a banger. Did fucking amazing on the YouTube, did absolutely outstanding on the TikTok, you know, fucking took that number one spot for most views on my TikTok clip. Uh, I mean, I think that's sitting over a little over a quarter of a mil right now, like somewhere around 258,000. I mean, that shit was just fucking awesome to see. So much fun having with that. This show has been stunning, bro. I've been really enjoying it. Last episode in particular as well was fucking amazing. Probably one of the best episodes of the show, if not the best thus far. I mean, that fight between Igris and Song Jin Woo was just outstanding. It was so fucking dope to see. The animation was crazy. Same studio that's doing Mashal, and they were fucking absolutely murdering the fucking animation. The budget was through the roof. That whole spectacle was so fucking cool to see. Igris was not fucking around. He said, oh, you want hands? I'll fucking give them to you. And Song Jin Woo did his fucking best, was literally pushed to his limits into what you know, pulling out everything that he had in that moment and, and how much stronger he's gotten up until this point and, you know, it really tested him at his current level. And that was so cool to see. The, like I said, the animation was stunning. Ah, oh, dude, it was such a good episode. That was the majority of it. We did see a little bit of the raid about to happen on Jeju Island, which as apparently their third time going to this island, which I thought it was their second. So if they fail again... I was saying, you know, maybe like, you know, they're going to have to shut this down completely or maybe something else goes wrong where somehow these, you know, monsters get the fuck out of the island and start attacking the mainland or some shit like that because they did have like a little bit of a metaphor or metaphor that someone said, I think it was the red haired guy with the glasses that's, you know, trying to lead this raid and is the main one that's like wanting to go back there, you know what I'm saying? Because he feels like he's failed over and over again and he, and he needs to like make up for the losses that they've had or people that were left behind uh he said that like you know are you sure this is okay we're going to cut you know we're going to kick a hornet's nest basically so you know i'm hoping that they get the job done and, and and you know accomplish what they want to accomplish but if they fail again then i feel like this you know operation you know like jeju island is going to go into complete hiatus or if they do get approval again for in the future for a fourth raid or something like that i was saying maybe even sung jin was a part of it at that point you know what i'm saying uh but who knows how that comes about and uh, i'm excited to see what this finale is and, and and how they close this off on this season because last episode felt like a fucking finale episode you know what i'm saying so i don't know what to expect in this episode how they're going to set us up for the next season what the fuck's gonna happen in this episode uh you know we left off with sung jin ru literally being surrounded by a bunch of the fucking regular mobs in this dungeon you know the regular knights mages and all you know all, all those people like assassins and stuff and it, it told him to survive as long as possible and the counter is going up it's not like survive for 10 minutes no it's survive as long as possible and then i'm assuming like you'd have to use the stone to get out and you know however long you lasted to use that stone to get out like you know whatever time you got to once you use the stone okay boom that's how long you survived and you get such and such rewards or whatever the fuck unless there's some sort of respawn fucking thing like i was talking about that might be possible but then again i think he only has one fucking life unless this is special because it has to do with the system and his power like this isn't like a regular dungeon out in the world like the regular gates and stuff this is this pertains to him and his ability so i don't fucking know but i'm excited to get into this this is gonna be an amazing finale i can just feel it last episode was stunning so i expect no less for this one without further ado let's get in the episode let's get in the reaction if y'all enjoy it please like down below comment subscribe for new hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping let's get into it solo leveling episode 12 season one finale Okay, yeah, we're getting right back where we left off. He is fucking surrounded. 
The only way you can survive is by beating all of them? I mean, you're already fucking at... You've used a lot of energy. Oh my goodness! Damn right, it's not over yet. He ain't giving up, that's for damn sure. Level 47 right now after coming in here. Almost level 50. God damn, dude. Nah, he's tossing him around. Damn right. He knows what it's like being at the bottom. Now that he has a chance to get stronger. He ain't giving the fuck up. Yeah, he's hearing the voices that have haunted him or, you know, what he's used to hearing for so long. Everyone convincing him that he doesn't need to push himself this hard, although he's the one that wants to do that. He wants to keep pushing forward. Himself talking to him? Nah, yo, <laughs> smile on his own face, bro. I can't, dude. Hurry up and get this fucking intro out the way. Come on, wrap this shit up. Oh fuck! All right, come on, let's get it. Indeed, what the fuck is going on with Sung Jun Woo right now, bro? Oh no, of course we're gonna take a little break from him. Yeah, Jeju Island. Here we go. Yeah, apparently a lot lost their lives. Mm-hmm. On the inside, I'm still weak. Oh shit, bruh. His own self is calling him out, bro. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh my god, his head? But how ready you are. Bro, now this is wild. His own self is checking him, bro. You'll be transferred to the penalty zone? In the middle of this shit? Bro, it looks like the same place where he went to before. With the fucking worms and whatever. Bro, his fucking hands are beat to shit, bro. Literally missing skin on his knuckles. Exceed 90? Damn. Oh, damn. He can't use the HP potions. Yeah, these same things. Oh, they're orange. Okay, bet he can take these on. Four hours again. Oh, <laughs> yo, the animation, bro. Yo, nah. Any pain I go through is only gonna make me stronger, baby. Let's go. Bro, nah. I don't want this shit to end, man. Fuck. Cause I don't think I'm reading this shit. This shit is too hype anime wise. Like I wanna keep I wanna keep myself anime only, bro. I don't think we're gonna have to wait too long for the next season either. I think they already confirmed that it's gonna be next year or some or no, uh this year. Later this year. A guardian teacher medium today? Oh, he's supposed to go fucking... Since he's basically her guardian. Four level ups? He hit 50. He's like 51 or some shit. Bro, all this shit that's worth so much gold. Oh, he just bought... Oh, shit. To armor type beast. Nah. <laughs> Yo. What skill is it? 
The ruler's hand, the user can physically manipulate objects without touching them? And it doesn't require mana? Yeah, okay, that's right. When he fucking grabbed his fucking sword, basically. He's got another fucking badass looking dagger. Is he gonna start dual wielding them bitches? Because he still has that other dagger with the crazy debuffs and shit. Oh, he coming back to here after the penalties up? <laughs> and he just got the fucking buff ass dagger that's gonna do 25% more damage to them. Oh, nah, dog. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't a hunter during the third raid? So that means there's already been three. <laughs> what the fuck is the mana in the water? There's no way this is connected to Sung Jin Woo, right? They're probably buffing the armor knights or like keeping them alive or something. Or. or Keeping them from dying. Ah, uh, so yeah, you just gotta take out the mages. Mmm, through that shit. <laughs> oh, no! Nah! He looks so badass with those two fucking daggers, baby. I knew he was gonna start dual wielding. Nah, bro, it's up, dog. This shit is so gas. I can't believe this is the finale. Oh, we're all gonna be itching for more after this shit. Damn! And he's already using that new ability. Just get over here, bitch! <laughs> Three mages left, come on. Nah, the animation is insane. The animation is crazy. Up on top of the chandelier. Oh, we're coming down. Here he goes. They're all done. Let's go, baby. Come on. You should be done, right? Now this golem is still going. Shut up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nah, they have been spazzing the, with the animation these past two episodes, dude. Holy fuck. So how long was the total count for the timer? How long have you survived? I mean, he beat everything. Four hours and 29 minutes. I had to feed all the monsters, finish the job change quest now. He's getting a class based on my performance during the quest, okay. Oh, he doesn't get to choose. Wherever the player goes, the angel of death follows. Whatever the player takes is littered with corpses and the stench of blood remains. Great power emblazes his own trail without relying on others. Its thirst for strength calls forth the ghosts that roam the valley of death? The ghost summoned by the sh Sh the Shadow Army? Your job is Necromancer. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was thinking. Oh, so he can reject it. Is he going to, though? Yeah. There's not enough information. Is a hidden class? Damn, bruh. Whether to accept or not. Fuck, dude. Because wouldn't that change his whole build and how he's been fighting up until now? I love his style right now, dude. Especially with those two, those two fucking daggers. The second one he just got. Mm. 
But I am, yeah. There's no rule that says, yeah, okay, alright! I won't be solo leveling anymore. He decided yes. What the fuck does this all mean, bro? Oh my god, where are they gonna end this, dude? Fuck. Yeah, okay, they've arrived. But what was that shit that they saw in the water? We still haven't gotten back to them yet since we last saw that. Fuck, bro. Your job has been finalized. Depending on the advancement points acquired, the fuck that should say? You have exceeded the expected survival time. Bonus points will be awarded. You have not used the instant teleportation. Bonus points will be awarded. Leftover HP, 50%. Bonus points. Bonus points for all the shit that he just did. Exceeded the class threshold. Damn, he did way better than they were expecting at all. Or the system was. What the fuck am I looking at, bro? Is that himself? Oh, no, wait, never mind. Am I tripping? Shadow Monarch. Apparently, you fucking went in. Oh, this is where he says it. <laughs> Yo, he's summoning all these motherfuckers, all of their shadows. This guy has his own fucking army, bro. Nah, and they look so tough. Summon them whenever you want. Nah, nah, this shit, this shit is crazy. They come in different ranks. Regular rank. Can you ext- Oh yeah, I was just thinking that. Extract the shadow of Igris? Sa shadow extraction is possible, yo. Nah, dude. This this motherfucker is insane. Eleven of the infantry. Shadow extraction has failed. Number of extractions are possible. Two out of three. He's already done two. Oh, okay, he has one left. One try left. Neither grow stronger or weaker besides one guy that we've been following. Dank and decrepit place. Serve me! <laughs> I'll be your king! It's gonna work this time. Come on. This is the last try. Oh, <laughs> nice smile, bro. Nah. This Shadow Warrior is gonna be a. F oh, that cape is tough as fuck, bro. Nah, level 7 Knight Rank. Someone who defies all our expectations. Come on, Sochi Wu. That's you, motherfucker. Nah, bro. That Shadow Warrior Egress is tough as fuck. He's under a, he's under Sung Jin Wu now. He can summon him whenever he wants. As well as these other regular knights, for that matter. Oh my god, nah, bro. Oh my god, no. I never wanted that to fucking end. Looks like there might be something at the end of this fucking ending, so I'm gonna wait. It might be an end credit or something. What the fuck are we getting? Okay, this is definitely an end credit. What did they find? They're evolving? The bugs or whatever? Oh, nah, bruh. 
Damn, what a finale, dude. That was fucking gas, bro. Amazing season, amazing premiere of the fucking entire story. Solo leveling, you did your fucking thing. We all love this shit, bro. Amazing, amazing, amazing fucking season, bro. Holy shit. Alright, guys, what a spectacular end to solo leveling. The first season, <clears throat> obviously not the end of the whole fucking story. We got way more to go, I'm assuming. And uh, according to my knowledge, I got like uh, a text from my friend like after he watched the finale, I think it was last night or something like that. He was saying that they uh, apparently, I don't know if this is like a rumor or if it's already been confirmed, but they're estimating that this uh, series, that the story is going to be approximately six seasons uh, of anime. So I don't know if that is just six seasons of one cores. So like 12 ish episodes a season, six seasons of that. Or if like some of the seasons are going to be, you know, two cores. So like next season would be 24 ish episodes and then continue on with that track record thereafter. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that will change. Like if we're going to stick with one core seasons, like, I'm not surprised like most series that start an adaptation they usually start out with a one core you know what i'm saying like my hero started with one core uh which was just 13 episodes and then from there after seasons two all the way up until now have always been 24 ish episodes gonna be great too because in a, i think not long from now like probably in the next week or two or maybe a little bit after like some, some somewhere within this start of the spring season uh, My Hero is coming back along with some other things. One Punch Man Season 3, I'm pretty sure, is starting soon. Uh, Bleach, I want to say, is starting soon, I think. We got a lot of shit coming out in the spring, bro. But that is just something that I heard that apparently is a rumor that could be true. That, you know, the, the story, whatever amount of the story uh, in terms of the manhwa is going to be about six seasons worth of anime or whatever. Or that's what they're, that's what the studio's goal is maybe, is like to get it done in six seasons. So that's what I'm saying. Maybe like next season is going to be 24-ish episodes, two cores, instead of one core like this season was. But this season had such a strong start. Everybody loved this that like, yeah, it might follow that kind of uh, path. Like the same as like My Hero or something like, because My Hero like had like such a good start in their first season and it was one core and then ever since then it's been two cores every season uh and they have been very consistent too so i, I would love that I, I hope that's the case and while i'm at it since we're in the middle of this discussion let me just look up if there's already been like anything else confirmed like the like release date fourth quarter of 2024 so that means Fourth quarter begins on Tuesday, October 1st, 2024, and ends on Tuesday, December 31st. So anywhere between October and December, which is usually uh, like October, I think is like the start or in the middle of the fall season of anime airing. And then there is like the winter season starting around the middle of December, going into January, February, and so on. So yeah, that's fucking exciting, bro. Like, we're not going to have to wait super long, at most, like, nine months or so, which is fucking fine with me, bro. We got a lot of other shit to watch. But the fact that they've already confirmed that, fuck yeah, baby. That's what's up. Oh, man, that's fucking awesome. Is it, I mean, th this really did have a strong fucking start. Everybody was enjoying this. I have enjoyed this thoroughly. It's been so much fun reacting to it, seeing everybody else have fun reacting to it, or just a new show that is, you know, addicting and really good and captivating. Uh, it's just nice to see new stuff come out and succeed. So, solo leveling, bravo, bro. That was fucking amazing season. Amazing finale. I mean, we've barely talked about it yet, but yeah, I mean, he fucking literally has his own army under his control. And uh, it's these these shadow warriors, basically. And he can, you know, sup he can gain these shadows um, from enemies that he defeats as much as he wants. You know, has a certain amount of tries for strong enemies, obviously, like Ikris, for example, when he, you know, told him to arise. It took him three tries. And also some pep talk like, yo, you know, your king ain't coming back. Why don't you fucking put your skills to use and serve me? The one standing in front of you right now that defeated you, put you to use type shit. And sure enough, he's got him under his fucking, uh, under his, you know, skill now, which came with uh, the class Necromancer, which he was on the foot about like actually accepting that job or that class change at first. Um, but there is no rule saying that a necromancer can't be up in the front lines or can't be fighting how he has been up until now. So I think he's still going to keep that fighting style that he has, especially after, I mean, he got a new fucking dagger that he bought after the penalty zone quest or, you know, penalty quest for not completing the daily since he was inside this, 
special quest or dungeon for so long. So he got he, that kind of saved his life for a bit because he went into the penalty zone and got away from those knights and shit. And those worms that are in there are actually on his playing field. So he was, I mean, he had to put in some more work, obviously, but it wasn't as hard as of an opponent to defeat as Igris. So he just mopped those up within the four hours that he was in there. That allowed him to heal as he was defeating those enemies. Also gave him more rewards or more gold, whatever. Bought that dagger that does 25% more damage to armored enemies. And then once he got back, in, back, got, got back into that uh, special dungeon after the penalty zone, because it just sends him back to wherever he was before, bro, he went to fucking work. And then realized that the mages were the ones they had to focus because the mages are the ones that were spawning the fucking knights that were actually just soulless. Like he wasn't getting any experience for defeating them, and that's what gave him that clue and, and include him in. Like, oh, I gotta focus the mages. Took all the mages out. Three of them summoned summoned a fucking golem. He kills those three. He's still the golem's still going crazy. He's like, I, even though I killed the fucking casters, you're still up. It's time for you to be put down. Puts him down, and then learns how to use this skill and ends up accepting the job change quest and and the whole thing in the beginning too where like his own self like his past self was almost talking to him but like aware of like the changes that has gone on with him like getting stronger looks taller you know this and that and then he was like but you're still weak inside like almost like taunting him like his own his own self is checking him and, and fucking pushing him forward or motivating him and like taunting him you know what i'm saying like that that, that was so badass to see like you know, you're still weak on the inside. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, nah, bro. That's, ah, dude, this finale was good. And it was the, it's the famous word, too. The famous title, Arise. And as you see, the famous moment where he, he finally says it for the first time. And, that, and what that means. That's the command word for summoning the soul or, 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 or acquiring the shadow of whatever he's, you know, uh, defeated. You know, whatever enemies in front of him that he's defeated or is, is down for the count. You know, actually ends up getting the shadow of Igris and a couple other knights. And he can summon them whenever he wants to. Use them how he wants to. I mean, he has he literally has his own fucking army now. Like, that's fucking crazy. That was pretty much the main gist of the episode and, and the finale. And then the only other things we saw was like, you know, the chairman of the Hunter Association talking to that one subordinate that has run into Sung Jin Woo a couple times and just talking about like our expectations for awakenings. Like, you know, hopefully somebody comes along that just completely blows away our expectations. And, the, and it's indirectly talking about Sung Jin Woo. They just don't know it yet. Like this motherfucker is literally blowing everybody's expectations away. It's just that he's kept a low profile up and down now. At some point, his secret's gonna come out and he's gonna be out in just public eye. And I wonder how the reception of that's gonna be. And at some point, I mean, I feel like he's just gonna be strong enough. Like, even if you don't agree with like what it is or like you're jealous, you're envious, or you got some personal beef with him, step up then. You're gonna get rocked. Straight up. You're not gonna be able to stand a fucking chance against this, against this guy. Like, that's what I'm saying. He's gonna be strong enough to where it don't matter if you don't agree with me or you don't understand my power and you're holding some sort of grudge for no fucking reason because you are ignorant do something about it i'll fucking whoop your ass like they're not gonna be able to do anything about it you know what i'm saying so eventually i feel like the secret's gonna come out and uh just the reaction of it at all is gonna be interesting to see yeah other than that we saw that conversation between the chairman and that one subordinate of the hunter association and then we also saw a little bit of the raid team that's going to jeju island again that is um approaching it and then they see some sort of culmination of mana underwater and then that's the end credit that we got at the end of the episode where they were looking at what they pulled out of the water and it seemed to be you know a dead ant or you know one of the monsters that are on that island and he said what the fuck they're evolving so like what does that mean like maybe this is all connected somehow like maybe i'm, I'm telling you jeju island there's more going on there than we know of like it's a crazy island that has insane monsters and we've already lost people to there before and it's definitely a tough hurdle to tackle but it, it, there's got to be something going on where it's like connected to what's going on behind the scenes with this system thing that sung jin Woo was capable of using ever since that double dungeon or maybe like i said sung jin Woo is going to be a part of this raid team in the future and go to Jeju Island because he's like, like I'm saying, like he's, we need somebody of a caliber that completely blows our expectations away to be able to take care of something like this. So, oh, dude, I'm so excited for more info and, and all that kind of stuff and, and see Sung Jin Woo continue to fucking level up and get stronger and fucking just blow people away like 
we struck like he's gonna be pulling up and doing shit that like s rank hunters themselves can't fucking do you know what i'm saying the top of the top of the fucking country he's gonna be better than those motherfuckers and they're gonna be sitting there like who is this guy you know what i'm saying like s rank hunters are struggling to conquer this fucking island and he gonna come out and just done i mean i, I just have a feeling like bro like, the way that the hunter association the chairman was like kind of having that conversation with that guy i feel like that was a little bit of a foreshadowing bro like song jay woo is literally gonna be the person that blows everybody's expectations away and just gonna be shocked like i'm an s rank i try to do this i struggled my ass off and this fucking guy apparently is an e rank and he just handled that shit no problem or maybe with a little bit of a problem but he fucking did what i couldn't and i'm an s rank hunter I, i'm telling you we're gonna see some shit like that bro like oh dude this is so exciting so what an amazing finale what an amazing first season premiere everything solo leveling y'all did a great fucking job shout out to a1 pictures shout out to the author and uh you know all the manhwa readers that were fucking enjoying this along the side of anime onlys and fucking you know just relishing in the in the expectations that you had for it and they, they were met everything was dope as fuck such a good watch amazing first season bro i couldn't ask for more can't wait for this to be back gas gas fucking gas so yeah that's gonna do it for me in this reaction i hope y'all enjoyed it if y'all did please like down below comment subscribe for new hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping what amazing ride this first season of so leveling has been amazing finale came to a great close can't wait for the next and we'll see y'all there when we're back with some more solo leveling i'll see you on the next one y'all be good deuces